Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhore Seu Inglês Podcast, o seu podcast de dicas de inglês. Hello everyone, in this week's episode we are going to take a look at noun plus preposition, for example, reason for, cause of, etc. So, noun plus for, a check for a sum of money. They sent me a check for $150. A demand for, a need for, the company closed down because there wasn't enough demand for its product. There is no excuse for behavior like that. There is no need for it. A reason for, the train was late but nobody knew the reason for the delay, not the reason of the delay. Noun plus of, an advantage of, a disadvantage of. The advantage of living alone is that you can do what you like, but there is an advantage in doing something or to doing something. There are many advantages in living alone or to living alone. Now let's take a look at a cause of. The cause of the explosion is unknown. A photograph of, a picture of, a map of, a plan of, a drawing of. Rachel showed me some photographs of her family. I had a map of the town. So I was able to find my way around. Noun plus in. An increase, a decrease, a rise, a fall in prices. An increase in prices, a decrease in prices, a rise in prices, and a fall in prices. For example, There has been an increase in the number of road accidents recently. Last year was a bad one for the company. There was a big fall in sales. Noun plus two. Damage two. The accident was my fault, so I had to pay for the damage to the other car. An invitation to a party, an invitation to a wedding, Did you get an invitation to the party? A solution to a problem, a key to a door, an answer to a question, a reply to a letter, a reaction to... I hope we will find a solution to the problem, not a solution of the problem. I was surprised at her reaction to my suggestion. An attitude to or an attitude towards... His attitude to his job is very negative, or his attitude towards his job is very negative. You can also use a noun with with or a noun with between. For example, a relationship with, a connection with, a contact with. Do you have a good relationship with your parents? The police want to question a man in connection with the robbery. But we use a relationship between, a connection between, a contact between, a difference between two things or people. For example, the police believe that there is no connection between the two crimes. There are some differences between British and American English. And that's this week's episode. And this was the melhor e seu inglês of this week. E se você quiser falar inglês em tempo recorde, entre em contato com a gente. Aulas individuais e personalizadas no Skype ou WhatsApp. Mande uma mensagem para Erika de Padua, Erika com K, arroba gmail.com ou no WhatsApp 31 5540 31 e faça uma aula experimental gratuita para dicas de inglês, exercícios e muita coisa legal para você aprender inglês sozinho. Procure por Melhore Seu Inglês no Instagram. Facebook e YouTube e visite o nosso site melhoreseuinglês.wordpress.com 
keep improving your English and see you on the next episode of Melhores Seu Inglês!